Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more I Am Setsuna. Um, we're gonna do a turn aside quest now. And that means we have to go to Tenderville. Tenderville is. I don't remember. And so we shall look at the map. Goes up here? Yes. Okay, and then who do I have to talk to? Um, let's see. Northeast-ish. That means it's on the right side of town. What? Am I in the correct place? It just says first house. I'm just gonna go here then. You? Okay, I'm guessing I got the right dude. Aha! Are you travelers? Yes, why do you ask? Perfect. I apologize for my impoliteness, but I have a favor to ask of you. A favor? That's right. There's someone I want you to look for. Um, tell us more since this is obviously a quest. Yeah, like Jelly says, it all depends on what this favor of yours involves, exactly. Thank you. I'm grateful to you for at least hearing me out. As you can see, I am in charge of managing this village. Thus, I cannot simply leave when it pleases me. Which brings me to the favor I wish to ask of you. There is a person I want you to find. The President of the Magic Consortium. What? The President of the Magic Consortium? He and I are old friends, you see, but I lost contact with him a long time ago. Recently, however, I learned of his whereabouts. So where is this president, then? In the Nameless Village. The Nameless Village? I hear it is a village inhabited by only the most lawless of outlaws and thugs. It sounds like a hazardous place indeed. Indeed it is. That's why I haven't been able to ask this of anyone else. I can tell just by looking at you, however, that you are very strong. Wow, the president of the Magic Consortium, eh? I wonder what he's like. If you are able to bring him here, you shall be duly rewarded. In fact, no. It shall suffice if you can simply ascertain that he is indeed in the village. As a reward, I shall give to you my family heirloom, the Spirit Knight Stone. We'll do it. Spirit Knight Stone? Heck yeah. You will? Wonderful. I'm very grateful indeed. Hold on, Jelly. Are you sure you've thought this through? This is all for you, Eterna. This is your side quest. I don't know. I kind of want to see the president now. Yeah, I'm a little intrigued too. Ah, uh, I am so glad you came. I don't know what I would have done otherwise. If you can just have a look for the president when you stop by the nameless village. But what connection does this have to Eterna? Because for, um, Endear, well, Jelly, and Setsuna, we actually had to deal with people that we interacted with. Eterna, the only person she's linked to is... gone. If I remember, the nameless village was... all the way to the left. It was a really weird place. Okay, it should be... Around here? No, that's not the nameless village. Uh, is it this? I think it's this. Isle of Misfits. Heck yeah, nameless village. Okay, so who do I talk to though? Magic Consortium, eh? Uh, where do I go? Let's just try going into a house. You! Travelers, are you? We don't get many of them here. Although it does not appear you are just any old travelers. So what brings you here? We're looking for someone. Oh, is that so? This is a lawless place. No resistance or knighthood here. Who might you be looking for in a village of criminals such as this, I wonder? He's not a criminal. We're looking for the president of the Magic Consortium. President, eh? He was indeed here in the village. Really? 
Really? Where is he now? First, let me instead ask you a question. What do you plan on doing once you find him? There's someone who really wants to know where the president is. If possible, he wants us to bring him back with us. Hmm, well, that won't be possible. Why is that? The president was indeed here. He was carrying out research into a type of spirit knight, I believe. But he is here no longer. To put it frankly, there is no use searching for him now. He is no longer in this world. So he's dead, you mean? A little while ago, this place was attacked by a huge monster. He lost his life trying to protect the village. A heroic death indeed. No body remained, so there is no grave. If he is now deceased, then our search is truly futile. Indeed it is. I'm sorry that you have wasted your time, but I would advise that you simply be on your way. Do I have to go back to the dude and tell him we're done? You think the president is really dead? Well, we ain't got no way of knowing that, do we? He said there was no grave, too. <sighs> I was looking forward to seeing what he was like. Big monster! What was that? It sounded like a monster's howl. Let's go check the watchtower. And if we go up here, should be the watchtower. Whoa, that thing's huge! It's a titan! <laughs> what the hell is that thing? It's huge! I've never seen anything like it before! Perhaps this is the monster that slayed the president. Hold on a minute. Is that... What's the matter, Eterna? So you have realized too, Eterna. Yes, I didn't think it could be, but... What the hell are you two talking about? First of all, we need to make certain... Yeah, make certain of what? It seems we've been deceived. By whom? That is my conclusion also. Come on, you two, stop leaving us hanging and tell us what's going on. We found the president of the Magic Consortium. Really? Where is he then? He's right in front of us. Or what's left of him, at least. What? You don't mean... That monster is the president. What? How the hell do you know that? At the center of that monster, I can sense human consciousness. Even though the consciousness of any regular human would have long disappeared. So you mean the president is alive inside that thing? Fight and I. What we sensed was a tiny fragment of human consciousness. I wouldn't say he's alive, but something of his consciousness does still remain. The president didn't fight that monster or get eaten by him. That monster is the president. What do you mean? Is that even possible? I don't know how it happened. If we're going to find out, we need to find someone who does know. Ah, uh, hello, old man. Yes, good idea. He seems the most likely to know something. Alright, let's start with that smug old man. I'll make him talk, just you watch. Neither, you mustn't do anything rough. You'll only make matters worse. Yeah, yeah, alright. Schooled by your own daughter! Come on, old man. Talk! Eh. Ah, back again after all. I hoped that you would have left before the monster came. Come on, tell us what you know. Everything. Talk or die! <laughs> what fearsome eyes. Are you really human behind that mask, I wonder? That monster is the president. We know that. Well, well, so you have realized. I see. Now I understand. You are a clone of Eudas. And it is no wonder that you realize the truth. Very well, I shall tell you everything. This is all because of the research the president was pursuing. Research? The president spoke of it constantly. He wanted to return a certain being to its original self, a being that had changed beyond all recognition. He wanted to rectify the consortium's past mistakes. And so, he began research into creating Spirit Knight powerful enough to overcome that being. But he failed, and he himself was absorbed by the being's power. So that's how he ended up turning into a monster. Pretty sad, even if he did have come to him. How many times must the Magic Consortium make the same mistakes before they realize? There are some things in this world that humans need to just leave well alone. 
Spirit Knight contains the power of laws that govern all creation. No one even knows what ancient civilization created it. Trying to create something like that yourself is beyond arrogance. I'm not asking you to agree with what he did. But all researchers believe that the road to truth can only be found by breaking boundaries. Well, the result of foolish research like that is on the verge of destroying the world. I am fully aware that you have no duty to do so. But will you save the president? And by that, you mean for us to slay that monster? The president still remains inside, even if only faintly. That's why it won't enter the village. But the last of his senses shall soon disappear, and then the monster will indeed attack this village. Can you destroy it before that happens? I'll do it. <laughs> Give me the spirit knight. Is that so? Thank you. I am in your debt. Alright, fine. Let's go and take care of the president. Or monster, rather. Let's go fight the dude! I'm gonna keep Setsuna in my party for now. Um, even though she doesn't have the best spirit knight ever. Oh, hello there! Like, he has ram horns, but his face looks like a monkey. The sure turned into one hell of a favor. Imagine the look on his face if we brought this thing back with us. It cannot be helped. Surely this too is some twist of fate. Let us dispose of the creature with our own hands. No, it seems that will no longer be necessary. Huh? What do you... Hey, what the hell's going on? Damn it, everyone get down! Oh, he self-exploded. Self-destructed, that exploded. It's gone. His life force has disappeared. His time had come. And we didn't even fight. I'm not sure if I'm relieved or what. Well, it was a pretty sorry end, but the guy got his just desserts. That said just deserts. Dessert has two S's. Typos. Anyway, we've done what we came here for. Sorta. Jelly, would you mind if we went and saw that old man one last time? If you want. I mean, he's right here. Thanks. I didn't want to leave here without giving him a final warning. Alright, let's go and see him. Let's go. So you have defeated the monster, or the president, should I say. I am very grateful. Let me thank you on behalf of the village. We didn't defeat it ourselves, but I guess this was fate. Anyway, more importantly, there are several things I want to ask of you. You saved our village. I shall do my utmost to grant your requests. I hope you're going to stick to your word. Of course! First of all, I want you to destroy all the results of the research. All the documents, everything. Burn them all. Secondly, I want you to stop all the human experiments right now. I have no idea what you're... Explain, Turner. He's playing dumb, but this old man is none other than the president. What? You're joking, right? He's the president of the Magic Consortium? Or to be precise, he's one of the presidents. What do you mean? I heard this a long time ago. Apparently, the president of the Magic Consortium isn't a single person. It's a title held by multiple people. The consortium is run by a council in order to ensure that no one one person holds too much power. So you mean there are other presidents too? Well, most of them are probably dead by now. Actually, I figured that whoever turned into that monster was probably the last one. So why do you say that I am one of the presidents? Well. First of all, you called my core, the Time Judge, by her real name, Yudis. Secondly, you didn't bat an eyelid when I said I was the world when I said the world was on the brink of destruction. That means you're someone who's in the know. Hmm. Very well. You are indeed correct. Eterna, just now you mentioned human experiments. That's right. They're indispensable to Spirit Knight research. That's why the president of the Magic Consortium took an interest in this village. This place is full of people who no one will ever miss if they disappear. Damn, so that's what's been going on. They probably had their eye on several people in order to choose someone suitable for their experiments. How awful! 
This is all in order to take this world back from the monsters, to stop humans from living in fear. Don't waste your breath trying to rationalize it to me. I won't let you play with human lives any further, no matter what your goals are. Ugh. You better keep your word. Very well. I shall destroy all of the results. And I promise to end the experiments on humans. If we come back here and find you didn't keep your promise, well... Expect to face righteous justice. Yes, very well. I'm sure many people in the Magic Consortium work hard to try and help people. As president, you should act in a way that does not bring shame to them. Very well. I shall keep it in mind, I promise you. Good grief. Now we gotta explain all this to that Aiden Tenderville. You know, though, this man is one of the presidents, right? How about we take him back to Tenderville? No, we've already gone to enough trouble as it is. We'll explain what happened and leave it at that. Yes, I agree. So much text, so much talking, my tongue is getting tired. Man. Today's a pretty free day for me, so I want to re record a lot of um, episodes. I didn't think the side quest would be this chatty though, so I just might have to stop it uh, after this episode. Gosh darn it. I need to stop hanging out with friends in real life so that I have more time to stream, and not stream, record videos. Mm. I kind of do want to stream though, because then, like, I don't have to edit together footage of me, uh, like, my face cam separately. I came too far. And the game, it's just, everything's all in one neat little package. This is not Thunderbill. I know where I'm going, gosh. There's this Thunderbill. <sighs> but we shall see if streaming ever happens. Maybe I'll play some 14 after this. Give my tongue a break. But I gotta go to a dungeon. Uh. Aha! It is you! Have you been to the Nameless Village? So, what happens? Well, the thing is, the president has already passed away. I see. That is a shame. Just as planned though, right? And what might that mean? It means that the reason you asked us to go there in the first place was to take care of that monster. What? I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. You're one of the presidents. What? He is? Really? Well, well, very clever, Jelly. That wasn't just a wild guess, was it? Then this is... Ah, then is this man really one of the presidents? Yep, no doubt about it. The president of the Magic Consortium isn't a single person, but several people. Isn't that so? No, no, I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. You can play dumb if you want, but if I find out you're using the people here in Tenderville in experiments... I won't go easy on you, I can promise you that. What? Of course not! I'm merely the administrator here, and I enjoy my job very much. I won't lay a finger on the people here. There's no need for you to look at me like that. Alright, I believe you, for now. Anyway, putting that behind us, here is the article I promised you. The stone. Is this the result of the consortium's research? Who knows? I can, however, vouch for its power. Of course, if you have your doubts, you are free to discard it. Take it! It is the spirit knight. The ultimate spirit knight. I'll take it. Giradia. Giradia? Giradia? You sure it's in it? What if it turns you into a giant monster as well? Then I shall accompany you until the end of your journey, as a giant monster. I'm joking, of course. What does it do? What does it do? Everlasting light. Um, I didn't know she had two more slots. The enables use of Gararia causes special damage to all enemies near target, based on actions total over type. I didn't- I don't think I used that many different types of skills. Hmm. 
combo 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 coup de grace I think I'll need that later. Anyways, I'm done with the turner! Okay. Now I gotta switch out Setsuna for Mirror. He's only level 53. I hope he'll be okay. Oop, up here. For Nidir, we need to go to Purika Village. Purika was. Purika was. I don't remember where. Prika, Prika. Let's see. Tenderville. Prika. Prika. Where are you? I can read maps. Okay, there it is. So it's. Um, it's. That's Prika? I think so, yeah. Oh, trees. Gosh darn it. Yeah, I'm going to save. Eternus wasn't that bad at all. Nice, short, sweet. This guy's though. I don't know. Uh, let me check his spirit knight. Um, I have counter. Okay. Um, do I have something that'll heal? A uh, megalith. Yeah, sure. Um, uh, who do I have to talk to? Freya. What up? What up, lady? Well, well, I can scarcely believe my own eyes. Hey, Cap. Looks like I'm not imagining things, which makes me worry. What are you doing here? You're not going to tell me you failed again, are you? Harsh. Come on, look. The sacrifice is right here, safe and sound. Our journey's going fine, don't worry. Then what on earth are you doing here? Well, you see... When our powers combine... Dear me, what a predicament. And the man who attacked me is now one of your companions, I see. It's clear your journey hasn't been a straightforward one. Well, you haven't failed, that's the important thing. Anyway, tell me honestly, is Nidor making himself useful? He is useless. <laughs> I see, you are very honest indeed. Damn it, Jelly, why'd you say that? Jelly was just joking. Nidor isn't useless at all, he's been a huge help. So if your journey isn't over yet, what are you doing back here? I came to get my sword. Your sword? The one I gave you, you mean? I seem to remember you turning it down, saying you didn't need it. No, no, that was... I just didn't think I was worthy of it. And now you do? The fact you failed to guard Nana says has all been forgotten now, has it? No, I never said that. I know I'm no hero, but all I can do is keep pressing on. And to do that, what I need to do, right... What I need right now is strength. First you don't want it, now you do. How did I end up with such a foolish student? Please, master. I understand your situation. However, I'll decide whether to give it to you or not once you have met your guests. My guest? Perhaps it is a strong will that brought you here. What? What are you talking about? Go to the beach. He should be waiting there. Who should? Go and see. An old friend of yours. He has friends? <laughs> ah, I really don't like using Meteor. You just... I'm pretty sure he is really strong if you level him up, but there's other people I'm more interested in. I don't use him. Uh, I need to go to a beach? Forgotten Shore. Oh wait. I need to equip... Damn it. Uh, counter... Wow, this is a lot of stuff. He needs. You know what? Screw it. I'm not even gonna use him a lot, so I'm not gonna give him too much stuff. Uh, where is the forgotten? Which forgotten shore? There's a bunch of forgotten shores. Uh, let's see. Prika. Forgotten shores. Oh wait, it's not. It's just down here. Yeah. 
perk. I will save just in case. Sorry that I'm cheating and using a guy, but I just want to get through this lickety split. Oh no! Dudes! Combo Radiance, go. 20 experience! Oh, so much! Uh, beach. I'm here at the beach. But where is friend? Or whoever wants to see me? Not here? The heck? Am I not in the right place? For Forgotten Shore. First group of enemies. Blah, blah, blah. To the west side. Okay. Um, let's eat a food just in case. SP gauge, flux rate, HP gauge. No, starting level, who cares? Or drop rate, guaranteed evasion, maximum MP. Magic defense, magic attack, time, element, evasion rate, water, fire, shadow, critical hit rate. Critical hit rate? Physical defense power, yep. Oh, I only meant to eat one. Fracking crack. Who are you? I've never seen you before. Shinku? So you have come. You're Shinku. You're the last person I expected to see here. Huh? You served on the pilgrimage together with me. We were separated when that huge monster laid waste to the guard. I ain't seen or heard from him since. I never even dreamed he was still alive. Oh, so he's an old companion. For an old comrade, something is not right. I do not sense friendliness from this man. I sense hostility. What a relief to see you're safe, Shinku. I'm so happy to see you after all these years. Don't talk to me like we're buddies, neither. You let Nanasa die. Now I want you to pay for that crime. With your life. With my life? Shinku, what are you? I honed my strength in order to avenge our companions who died during the pilgrimage. I grew stronger in order to make you pay. But because of the injuries I received on our journey, I can grow no stronger than this. I am unable to defeat you. What? Are you being serious? Of course I'm serious. If you wish to run, run. I will not follow you. But your past will follow you forever. I ain't running nowhere, but I ain't giving you my life either. Please, Shinku, listen. I have a duty I must fulfill. That's why I'm here now. What duty can a man like you ever fulfill? You'll only make the same mistake again. No, I won't. I can't. And that's why I need more strength. Oh, oh. So you need the sword, right? Then take it from me. By force. What? You too, master? What are you saying? What Shinku says is true. There's no point in giving it to you if you'll only make the same mistake again. Shinku is unable to defeat you himself. So instead, I shall be your opponent, and I will not hold back. If you lose to me here, well, there was no hope in entrusting the future to the world to you anyway. You serious? Indeed I am. Alright, get back, all of you. Neither. That looks like a plain sword, or unless she's using her own swords and not his. So basically, the guide is saying just counter the entire time. Call yourself a swordsman? Come on! Don't blame me if you get hurt, master. Also, how much HP does she have? Repel magic? I don't have magic. I'll wait until she hits me. Oh, was that a not a counter? 
Ow. I... She missed! I missed! This is gonna suck. Item... Uh, potion me. I might have to cut this because this is gonna take a long time. Ooh, I'm gonna die. I was unable to change the future. Really? Okay, well, I'm gonna pause and I'll come back when I successfully defeat her. Damn it. Okay, I'm back. She's dead. I used a cheap trick which involved uh, dodging and then countering. Because if I hit counter once, um, her attacks never hit me, but I always managed to counter them. So it took a couple minutes. I was just like sitting and reading updates on social media. And then all of a sudden she died. Huzzah. Antique comb. Thank you. For a long time I suffered alone, endlessly regretting what happened. I was stuck in the past, unable to move forward, but then I got the push that I needed. It was my new companions who gave me that push. Traveling together with them has made me realize something very important. Overcoming your past don't mean denying it or ignoring it. It means understanding your own weakness and accepting that for what happened, happened. And that's what you gotta do if you wanna move forward. Looks like you were right, Master. Yes, it does. It seems you really have overcome your past, Meteor. There's no hesitation in your hand, no weakness in your swing. Huh? Sorry, the cat insisted, insisted that she wanted to test you, you see. I didn't think we were going to fight him for real, though, Master. I just got sick of listening to you two talking for so long. You mean, you planned all of this for you? Ugh, what sort of person comes up with a plan like that? Well, there were some things I wanted to give you. Shinku happened to be in the town, so I asked him to help me. Things you wanted to give me? You obtained the Master Sword. You obtained Rebellion. I'm assuming that's my Spirit Knight since she was using that move against me during the battle. What's this? You said that you need strength in order to continue on. However, what you truly need is determination. That determination shall become your strength. That is what true strength is. In your hands, this sword and this stone will grow stronger. I suppose that in, in that sense, perhaps you are right to return it to me. The old you probably never would have been able to unlock its strength. You have become a man with determination even greater than my own. Now you are worthy of the sword. Master, thank you. Thank you very much, Freya. There is no need to thank me. Your pilgrimage is more rigorous than any ever before it. And you do it for the sake of everyone in this land. It's only natural that I should help you. Come, Shinku, let us return to the fort and drink. It seems we no, no longer need worry about the sacrifice guard. Good luck, Meter. I'll be praying for your success. If you make it back alive, let's get together and reminisce over the old days, eh? What strange creatures humans are. They pass on their will to others. Can't you understand that? No. Perhaps now I do understand. The past is important too, just like the future. When I fulfill my duty as sacrifice, it will be with my memories and everyone in my heart. Well, that won't be happening quite yet. The old man's right for once. Right now, we need to work hard so that we have no regrets when we head into that final battle. Neither get out of my party. I mean, I'll equip the Spirit Knight on you, but after that, it's just like, nope, bye. More time damage has been received. Yeah, see, I had him with All-Seeing Eye, Paralysis Shield, because she has an attack, just in case she managed to attack me. Stone Shield, in case that also hit me. Uh, that was just there for an encounter. I had this, but I didn't really need it. All these I didn't really need. And I made sure to eat deep fried lettuce. Why is he the head of my party? Heck no. Uh, switch with me. And let's see, who's next? Not that I'm gonna do their side quests now, but next up is Kier. So I will switch you out. Okay. Wow, there's no combos we could do with each other, and I think he also has a battle for his side quest. So before I start his, I'm gonna have to organize our spirit knight. 
But for now, I'm going to save because that battle and preparing for it was annoying. I think I'm going to end that here. I have three more characters I need to do side quests for. The next one will probably be Kira and Julian, and then Fides, and then I don't know what I'll do after him. But we'll see when we reach that point. But anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay toasty.